Leave it to me. I'll finish what you stuck. years younger. The better I get, the quicker the victory. Pathetic! I shall handle this myself. Warrior. Pain fades. Pathetic! I shall handle this myself.
everything myself. Ah. Looks intact. I can't have been here before. Strength returns. Yeah, can't stand scorpion blood. All blue and nasty. Ah! Thanks for time. I feel ten years younger. The pain fades. Well, well, this looks like Celine's stash of Silk and Sail Alliance bolts.
face. Glad to see you again. How can I help? Here's your silk bolts. Maybe some scorpion blood on them, though. What's a little scorpion blood between friends? Please take what you like from my stall as your reward. How can I help? Come back whenever you wish.
Are you certain you are ready? We may need to leave in a hurry. Before I answer your question, you must learn how all this began and how it must end. The year that the Theocrats seized power away from the last god empress, Lady Mara Valkyrin founded the Order of the Veil. Mara had one purpose, the defeat of the Theocrat and the destruction of all religion. The Theocracy and the Gerulian Empire before it had used religious symbols to wield power. Mara's goal at first was simply to free the world, but to defeat great power requires even greater power. And it does not take long for power itself to become its own end. Sixty years after the founding of the Order, Mara found a way to extend their power by channeling the essence of the dead god into their own bodies. It required an artifact, an immensely ancient cauldron sacred to the Temurians that was known as the Crucible of Souls. The Order stole it from Temuria and concealed it in the city of Kyalisa. Using a ritual only known to the Pentanera, the Crucible can channel the essence of the dead from across the veil, the barrier that separates dimensions. But what the Order did not know was that there were twin dangers to using the cauldron. Two centuries ago, the High Sage of the Pentanera used the ritual to channel vast quantities of essence into his body, against the laws of the Order. A dark spasm twisted his body into a demonic creature, and in its rampage, Lady Mara herself was killed. The High Executioner Baron Evanger pursued this outcast mage for centuries, eventually ending his life. But Mara, although dead, was not gone. The dark spasm had fortified her soul with essence beyond anything we mages had experienced previously. And the more essence the Pentanera channeled through the cauldron, the narrower the space between the worlds became. Mara's soul was eventually found by a demon, a devourer, and she began to plot her return to this world. Meanwhile, Mara's son Serge Valkyrin rose to become the new High Inquisitor. It was Lord Valkyrin who sensed my potential when I was a young initiate in the Order. About 40 years ago, I managed to become Chancellor to the Theocrat. A decade after that, there was a rebellion against the Theocracy, and I was able to slay the Theocrat myself with one well-aimed knife blow. My reward was the post of High Sage, which I, with the Theocrat defeated and religion all but eliminated, the Order began to quarrel. Lord Valkyrin sensed, correctly, I might add, that the Order was no longer as committed to its original goal of stamping out religious power by eradicating religion itself. He and his acolyte attempted to seize control of the last remaining relic, the Godslayer Sword, in order to destroy its terrible power once and for all. The rest of the Pentanera resisted them, but the resultant war from within nearly destroyed us. Valkyrin and Evanger were both slain, but their souls were fortified with the essence of the ritual, just as Mara's had been. All those centuries of rituals with the Crucible of Souls had weakened the Veil immeasurably, and the destruction of the Godslayer changed the balance between shattered heaven came to impinge upon this world, and the world of dreams that mages had once walked within became shadow. When Lady Mara returned to us, it seemed like a miracle. But I do not trust miracles, and when Valkyrin and Evanja also returned from the dead, I knew so I fled and made my plans. Carissa was an ally for a while, but eventually they took her life and made her a demon too. With few options remaining, I eventually took the desperate step of summoning you, demon. We have no hope, you and I. 
unless we can find a way that the crucible of souls might be destroyed. I have no possibility of learning anything useful from the Temorians, but you just might. Destroy the cauldron, and we may yet defeat Lady Mara, Lord Valkyrie, and Baron Avenger. Unless the crucible of souls is shattered, you and I are both doomed. Ask your questions, 